Good morning, folks. As you watch a week's worth of rainfall across the globe, we'll zoom in on the South China Sea. Right now, Typhoon Haiyan is affecting Vietnam after cresting back into the water from the Philippines. The numbers are nowhere near fully updated, but the number of dead are already feared to be in excess of 10,000. EF4 type damage over hundreds of miles. The Western world doesn't see things like this. It was three and a half times the power of Katrina and possibly the strongest we've ever seen. While Haiyan is big and beasty on the right of the frame there, on the left, a smaller yet significant storm system is on the mouth of the Arabian Sea, staring down Somalia. Flash flooding reported in the UK yesterday after the storm system moved over. It's now dipped further south and affecting more of the continent. One line of storms here, all on a beeline for the South Island of New Zealand. The only major watch here is for the snow in the northwest and even colder further east. The end of this video will zoom in and get some more weather shots. For now let's go to NASA, Goddard, Scientific Visualization Studio. Plant fluorescence and the normalized vegetation index over one calendar year are demonstrated here. The link is in the about tab below the video. Boy in event mode, West Pacific. This is not actually 60 meter swings back and forth because somebody would notice that, but it's the same type of reading we've seen numerous times preceding seismic upticks. NASA's Earth Observatory, sharing a recent picture of the burn scar near Sydney. Unfortunately, there are a few new fire dangers in the vicinity. Solar wind shows a major speed ramp last night after the density spike from the morning. That's a coronal hole stream, where the speedier but less dense particle stream bunches up slower particles out ahead of it for a density bulge before the speed ramp. Instability follows density, so it's waning now. High energy protons, still not back to fully settled after the flares are continuing. Much more sparsely, but continuing. Took another X flare this morning. Came from that same delta spot we've pointed out day after day now. X1 blast out of the southern backside of 1890. Satellites and animals not yet updated, but stereo A images pieced together suggest a good chance this flare popped a moderate sized CME in our direction. Definitely not likely to cause damage. Let's look at these sunspots, starting with that big earth-facing group, the delta spot still hanging on down there. Even with the larger region in decay as a whole, the bipolarity within that penumbral region survives. It appears we also have some size and magnetic complexity coming in on the south, but it hasn't popped yet. We also have some potential with the umbra incoming on the north. We know the southern coronal holes will be open to earth, and it appears they have some significant power. The northern incoming darkness is more visible, but also somewhat blocked by umbral and coronal fields. Quake watch really ramps when the solar wind speed wanes. So far we've taken more four pointers off the west coast this week than we've had in a year. The other various locations on watch soon as well. I keep getting asked about iris images. Lockheed site still in process of improvement and as I said the day they released level 2. It's taking a long time to figure it all out and learn what's needed before trying to interpret what we see. I'd hope we're looking for more of that on YouTube and less sensationalism born of ignorance. Shots of our star and the weather to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.